All right, welcome back, guys. Let's head down into the tunnel. Actually, one thing I want to check here super quick. If I go back into equipment here on my pistol. I just want to, I'm going to check mods here. Because, yeah, I've got, like, level three mods. Because I'm, I'm running chemical rounds one. All right, let's switch to chemical rounds two. And then improved sighting two. Do, 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 do. Let's go back to my sniper rifle here. Just want to make sure that like the primary weapons that everybody's using has like the upgraded mods. So a hammerhead round uh, V2. I've got V3s. Let's equip that. And then sensor two. Half tempted to do heat sink three. Actually, I am going to do that. Garrus, on your sniper. Oh, you don't even have an, another equipped. You got a hammer. Are you you have anti? Um... Wait, there's a chemical round three. Back it up. Back, Shepard. Didn't realize that I had a V3 on that. Now, Garrus. No, 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 not your pistol. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Okay, so Garrus, let's do... You know what, let's do... I'm half tempted to do armor piercing. I should, I should get rid of all of the V1 mods. Let's do sh That's negative 30 damage, though. You know what? Take the chemical rounds, too. And then take high caliber. Or no, that's... Um... No, I'll take the combat sensor on you. Alright. Tally on your pistol. You have APV2 which is fine, and then you've got high caliber. All right, let's go ahead and junk out all the level one mods. Just so they're not eating up our inventory space. Okay. All right, quick save. Let's go. Down into the depths we go. Oh, we're being jammed. Ah, gap. Shield down. Emergency shields. Are you guys using what you're supposed to be using? Yeah. I see you down there. All right, stop. Singular or do a warp. Overload and sabotage. Stay down. You're ultra dead. Any game that has a shield bar, whenever it drops down and it comes back up, I always want to go. Clear. The halo noise. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. Some kind of a force field.
The textures look so good. Yeah. Yes, they do. Did you see the comparison video they did, Lord Knox? That, the, like, Bioware did? Or even IGN? Whoa! We're taking fire. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, oh, it actually moved around my buttons here. Uh, Garrus, you want to give me an overload on that guy? I wonder what Liara is looking for in here. Most Prothean ruins have nothing more than dead instrumentation. Breaking. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. We are at a Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. So, two things about this scene. One, I don't remember her audio being distorted before. And then two, on the close... Well, okay, not the close shot, but the medium shots. There was also, like, a distortion. I don't remember that being a thing either. It's been a while since I've played this, but... I smell trouble! No, it's not secured. Ah, bloody force. Garrus, I was shooting here. You got in my way. Fine, you you guys stay here. I'm going to go down. Bunch of rudes. You said that last time and you were wrong. Dead wrong. Garrus, did you switch weapons again? You did. Aha!
Oh, now I'm getting the uh, Omni Jail option. Oh, dang it. Enjoy your stay. Is it Ejus? Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. All right. Is there any other loot? Yes, there is, actually. Whoa, I screwed that up. Have I done the... N no, I don't... I don't think so, Lord Knox. <laughs> Basically, we got Spectre, and then I came right here. Can you vault over cover? Not in the first game, no. Uh, they added that in either the second or the third, I forget which. Oh god, what is this madness? Enter override sequence. Um... Okay. So that was, let's go down, left, up. Okay, down, left, right, up. Uh, down. Down, left, right, up, down. Down, left, up. Whoa, wait. Down, left, oh, sorry. Down, left, right, up, right. Down, left, Right, up, uh, up. Down, left, right, up, left. There we go. That takes the fun out of it. If you're just gonna let the computer do it for you. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. <sighs> Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. We don't have eight minutes. He needs to move faster. I give you two and a half.
Talk our way out of this. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Yeah, this can be a really, really tough fight. Okay. Uh, let's go overload. Let's go sabotage. And let's go a little bit of singularity. Everybody on the Krogan. God, where am I at? Shield disabled. Okay, hold position. Give me a warp. Garrus was the first one out. He's like, I'm not going to be smashed. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? <laughs> it's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long <laughs> time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. 
Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. So, what good are you then? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Disconnect. I'm not discussing this any further. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. All right. Now we'll go around and talk to everybody. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No metal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Forgot about all the council stuff, yeah. I have to go. All right, see ya. Hey, Trizonics. 
How's the legendary edition? It's fantastic. Don't know if the doctor will have anything to say. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Uh, nope. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. <laughs> oh, I do. Um. Sure. Just remember, Lieutenant, I saw her first. Only by a few seconds, sir. Hey, this is not a competition. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get back up from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all day in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and Charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated Another drives over our outposts, devotee. but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Thank you for the follow. Or is it Arcude? Yeah, his dialogue is super quiet. I don't know why. The uh, sound balance in this game is all over the place. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? 
The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Regulation term, you are a whiner. Stop it. Do you actually have anything good? How much Looking money do I supplies? have? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I have... Oh, I actually have way more money than what I thought I did. I can only wear light armor. Got the scorpion. That's actually quite a bit better. Wish I could see what it looked like, though. I don't want it to be pink or something. Oh, I guess it's probably based on this, so it's like a camo. Do I want to buy that? Sure, why not? Garrus. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. There was like an audio increase there. Did you guys hear that? I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Um... Hmm. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. That's right, you think about it. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line. I mean... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. 
It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. I come from a military family, too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? Mainly, I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance, save lives, you know. Glad to hear it. I'd hate to think you were out here for a free college education. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Go kiss Rex over there. What about me? I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Commander. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. No, I, I know who I'm going to romance. You got to play it cool. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'm gonna romance Rex. Hey, no spoilers. <laughs> I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Damn! I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out didn't even wait to get paid. Oh yeah, yeah, it could be Matt Curso. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Kind of forget if um, Adams has more lines. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Whoops, that was a misclick. Aye, aye, Commander. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Okay, he doesn't. Aye, aye, not yet. Oh, hello, Shepard. 
Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. See you later. Okay, we have to talk to one more person, I think. Uh, actually, she might be over here. Nope. I'm trying to think. Where Where is Liara in Mass Effect 1? Oh, the back of the med bay. Uh, I got turned around. All right, Alyssa Ann, uh, see you later. Thanks for coming out. Do appreciate it. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Maybe she's just evil. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. 
Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. That's actually pretty crazy because in most... Whether it's video games, movies, or whatever, usually the purebloods are considered superior, but not this time. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Well, there you go, chat. Really interesting stuff. Yeah, I mentioned yesterday uh, during the stream just how how crazy it would have been or how how fun it would have been to write this game to like you know when they were doing the concept for this they're like all right star wars star trek we are gonna do a space opera with this game and the lore is gonna be deep you know All right, we are on to whatever we want to do next. Let's have a look. Do, 
do, do, do. I think we'll go to Novaria. Enjoy your stay. Hey, it's Don't Fudge With Me. Thanks for the follow. Very unusual name. I would be interested to know how you came up with that. Yeah, I know DVD Haas. I know there are books for this series, but it's just like books that tell more story. But you're right, I don't know if they ever did it like a codex. Alright, we'll scan all the planets in this system here. Small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team brought it aboard the ship to dismantle it. Okay. We're going to Hoth, chat. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Yeah, try that. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> I dare you to try and impound my vessel. All right, we are taking Liara and Garrus. Oh, I'm gonna have to gear out uh, Liara. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Should probably do that before we move forward. Let's go to squad here. All right, you have 34 points to play with here. Okay, Garrus. So you, for Garrus, we got dis Decryption First Aid Electronics. Okay. Just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Actually, I'm wondering if I should swap out Garrus for Tally. Can't necessarily do it now, but. So a sorry scientist is recharge time on biotics, first aid heal, and reduces recharge time. Alright, let's do first aid until we get on electronics unlocked. And then overload. You can see that she has, like, no weapon stuff whatsoever. Alright, we'll do a couple into Scientist. Let's get, um, Singularity unlocked for you. She's pure magic? Yeah. Basically. Uh, let's take electronics all the way up to uh, master overload. You know what? We're going to just max out warp there. And advanced. Okay, I have four points. Let's do my points into... Let's get our, our second level res... Oh, I haven't been doing any Adept. 
Not that I necessarily need it. Let's do one into warp and one into pistols. Garrus has four. Let's do... Let's max out your first aid. You're our healer. And then sniper rifle for the other one. Okay, let's go to equipment here for just a second. Uh, Liara, you're going to mostly use a pistol. Go ahead and swap on that pistol there. And then let's do... Anti-personnel rounds three. And... Combat sensor two. Do I have any better armor? That is a... Oh, no, no, wait. That's the armor that I got for Shepard. I forgot. I bought that. Yeah, the Duelist 2. Armor plating 3, 9% damage protection. First aid interface is actually health regeneration. Or battery for 50 to shields. Let's do the battery. Alright, now back to Liara. Okay, I think we're good. 